Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 104 of... Wow, there are two of them there. 104 of... Do we want to go the long way around or we can just go the short way around? 104 of... Ooh. Fallout 4. Game of the Year uh, Edition. So we're taking the shortcut here. Bunch of them. So mostly insect infestation here then? Can you imagine these things? Blood, ba uh, blood, bug, hatchling. Maybe we should hit them from here because we are pretty high up and maybe we can get to them through the fence. You like that one? Enough, yes. Where is it? <laughs> okay. Okay, inside the house, huh? Oh, I love this sniper rifle. Any more? I guess we better use our go-to weapon. Okay, I see it, I see it. That's it. Are the blood bugs that we killed? Apparently, they have despawned, right? There were two of them here. Looks like 
And then I think on the second floor. I guess we can drop them off in the lake so all the corpses will not be hold on let's put her here for the moment so we can open the door Again, another place where we can put you know this is what we should have done with all those uh, all those corpses that we uh, we have found or the uh, the ghoul corpses Can we drag this? No, we cannot drag the... <laughs> we cannot drag the corpse of the Brahmin. Completed. Security workshop. Yes, report their success. Cool. Uh, then what we can do now is... Uh, wow. Drop all the... And temp temporarily, all the weapons that we picked up. Psst. You say the word. Don't mind the clutter. We can drop them here for the moment. So we can do our... We can collect... Not do. We can collect those items that we left at the uh, estate. That was the trap for us. Let's not take this first. Okay, good.
Okay, let's not. Oh. Let's go to the Everett Estate. Pick up all the items that we left behind and come back here. And then we can report our effort to. Uh, to the Green Top uh, Nursery. So that, again, like I said, this is a uh, two birds with one stone kind of mission. So this is worth. What? Why are you landing us right here? Jeez. There are so many places to go to and you land us right where the highest concentration of uh, radiation is. Okay, let's get our stuff. Uh, weapons first. Come here, Piper. Hey, what can I do? Yeah, I need you to carry most of the weapons. Super sledge. Just those two will be, uh, where's the super sledge? Oh. Raider chess pieces. No, we don't want that. Those are. Uh, well, we want that because for the metal that it contained. But, uh, yeah. Taffington Boat House. Wow, we'll be carrying a lot of radiation. Remember, every time we come over here, they send us to the... Uh... <sighs> they send us right into the center of where the radiation is highest. You know what? Uh, we can keep it here first. So I'm doing this because uh, if not, uh, things might despawn. Oh, I carry that here. Jeez.
Where are you, Piper? Hey, what you got for me? Sure, take a peek. Let's just store all of them here. We better stand up so we can uh, we can get away from the uh, radiation ASAP. Wow! Look at the bar on radiation. <laughs> That's pretty long already. Uh, there is a perk here that allows us to heal ourselves every time we're exposed to radiation. Uh, that will turn us into a ghoul. Uh, although we might still look human. That is not a very appetizing thought. Wow, look at that. Wow, that radiation bar is so high. Oh, we missed this guy. Hammer! Oh yeah, that was the boss unit. How heavy are we? Oh, we can we can still take on a lot of stuff. Ooh, miss this guy. to loot everything we can because we are starting a new settlement And sometimes, yeah, sometimes we, uh, like, these settlements have, like, a, uh, what do you call this, a safe. And it's always nice to loot a safe because they usually have better stuff inside the safe. Wait, that's the first house. No, that's the second house.
backyard bunker. Uh oh, we are not crouched. This is cool stuff. Wow, interesting. You know, I've not this been here before. Clever. Hey, point the way. Okay, let's... something specific? Yeah, all the junk that we're carrying, they're yours now. Yeah, and all the jump. Wayne's terminal. Let's check what. Oh, safe control. Yes. Made it home. The boys finally cried themselves to sleep. It's been three days since the bombs fell and everything has gone to shit. But our director up at MedTech got advance notice. And if I hadn't put that code into his terminal that forwarded his logs to me, I would have been trapped up there along with everyone else when the lockdown kicked in. I had to make my way on, on foot to Malden to get the boys. I'm so proud of them for remembering the plan. Michael managed to get David away from the teachers and they ran and hid like I told them instead of going in that vault. We made it back here into our bunker just as the plane started going over overhead. We listened to the radio for a while, but then the station cut out. I can still hear gunfire out there. Bonnie, I don't know if you are still out there, but I'm praying you are. Pretty sad, huh? Bonnie? Bonnie, it's been two weeks and I wish you were here. I want to so badly to head to the hospital to try to find you, but Boston is too dangerous and I can't leave the boys on their own. Little David keeps asking about when Mama is coming home, and Michael has started to glare at me when I say that you are still at the hospital helping people. I've been listening to the intermittent reports on the radio after they had gone to, ba to bed, and I think he overhead heard one where they were talking about the fighting in the city. It sounds like the fighting down there is really bad. I hope you're safe, hon. Ouch. It's been three months since the bombs fell. I left the bunker for the first time last night. Our plan to tap into the main from the water tower worked, but the piping took more duct tape than expected and was leaking pretty bad. We didn't have any more in the house, so I tried to sneak out over to Cobb's house across the street. He was working with the construction crew in the neighborhood, so I figured he might have some. I was in Ron's den where he'd been working on that Nuka Cola machine and must not have heard him over the distant gunfire explosion there was just that cold barrel pushed up against the back of my head suddenly he told me to turn around so slowly and oh god bonnie his face the radiation had hit him hard and his hair was falling out and half his face looked melted i begged him to stop but he put the gun in my mouth and cocked back the hammer i heard the gunshot but when i opened my eyes ron was falling to the ground and I spotted Lance from down the street up on our roof. He saw the whole thing and saved my life. Said he's got a plan and to meet him tomorrow night. Happy birthday, Bonnie. 
I don't know if you are still out there, but it's your 38th, so David and Michael made you a cake. It didn't really turn out, but I let them open a can of frosting, which was nice. The Ames and I have been busy the past few months. Lance and his brother have been had been on their way back from a vacation to New York with their families when the bombs fell. It took them weeks to make it back here, mostly on foot. They had a plan to build a wall around the neighborhood, and after that, after he saved my life, I could hardly say no. Wow, that was uh, safe control. Disengage lock. Well, so apparently people are turning into uh, super mutants. What'd they use you for? Hey, take a look at this. What? What are what, what? What am I supposed to be looking at? Where is the safe? Okay, anyway, uh, the ghost hour, oh, that's a safe right here, okay. Shotgun shell, rounds, powerful, gold-plated technical document. Okay, this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye!